Hello everyone. Good evening. My name is Gary Harrison. Welcome to the second edition of my Pod Opinion Cast. Thug Life. The hate you give little infants F's everyone. I'm trying to keep this PG, so we're going to keep it like that. Thug Life was made popular by the American rap artist Tupac Amura Shakur. You know, one of the things that made Pac so great, his music was filled with deep stories and raw human needs. He talked about things which affected the community of black America. Sometimes he was the watcher and the participator. Here's some four basic human needs. Acceptance, identity, security, and purpose. What was Pac's purpose? Was it to be the great thespian he became? Was it to be the great MC that he became? Was it to be the great leader he would become? I mean, the influence was there from the beginning. I mean, he was literally born in jail from a great mom, a great leader. I mean, Tupac said he was cultivated in prison. For me, the embryo is the day he was born. That's just my opinion. You know, children are very cognizant of their surroundings. I think sometimes parents don't consider that, that most children are. I mean, I was. And Pac definitely was. He was aware of his impoverished situation. I mean, it compelled him to be who he would later become in his life. A very, very successful entertainer, thespian, poet, MC. Pac said that when he was younger, he was very withdrawn. He would read a lot write poetry, and watch TV a lot and would emulate what he would see on television. He said if he could act like he had a big family, he wouldn't feel as lonely. Yeah, just think about that. So apparently he was very, very aware of his surroundings. His mother, Afeni Shakur, she taught him to be community-oriented. I mean, she was a member of the Black Panther Party, a paralegal, as I said, a fierce leader. You know, there were defining moments in Pac's life. One of them that he mentioned was the fact that there was not a father in his life. I mean, he had a dad, but you know, he wasn't around. Unfortunately, he would have loved to have a dad to show him from boy to manhood. Instead, he had the streets. I mean, his mom was there, but he had mentors from the streets. The prostitutes, the pimps, the drug dealers. It sounds like a world not to be proud of, but... It cultivated his personality. You know, those lyrics that you hear where he detailed the community, the black community in America. It was clear that he was coming from another world, but this world was in America. Black America. 
Let's get it straight. His name descends from the Incas of Peru and the Arabic language. Tupac Amaru was the last leader of the Peru's Incan Empire. The Shining Serpent. Shakira comes from Arabic origins and means thankful or appreciative. Yeah, Pac was appreciative. He didn't take for granted that he was given a task in life, and that was to be great. There were so many defining moments in Pac's life. For instance, the first time he had a chance to act, that was in the Apollo Theater in New York City. In the play called Raising in the Sun, from Lorraine Hansberry. He said when the curtain went up, he got the bug. He said it was better than sex. That was his words, not mine. Another defining moment is when he moved to Baltimore. He said in Baltimore, it was, he called it a very ignorant town. The highest rate of crime Black on black crime. That's how he describes it. Another defining moment was when he auditioned for the Baltimore School of the Performing Arts, which he spent three years. He was exposed to theater, ballet. Yes, Park did ballet in the performing arts, literature, and different kinds of music. So let's see, we're covering the basic needs, right? So Pac found acceptance. He found identity through the creative arts, right? Yeah, here's something that defines security in his case. Another defining moment is when he when he moved to California and had a chance to audition for the group Digital Underground at the time. He got put on after auditioning and had an opportunity to be featured on one of the songs, coincidentally called Same Song for a soundtrack. And in his own words, Pac said it was on after that. So as you see, security came in, you know, started getting some funds, looking good. Then another defining moment came in. When he had a chance to star in the movie, a co-star, in the movie Juice. Now, this is a very defining moment because this movie kind of plagued Tupac's personality. Yeah, it's debatable, but it's often said that that character Bishop he played in the movie was very polarizing because in his private life later, Everyone felt that he was always in that character. He was vacillating always between Pac himself and Bishop. So with all that being said, I think he served his purpose. You heard all the defining moments. You can compare them to different things that maybe happen in your life. And your basic needs Has it all been fulfilled? That's a question that you can answer yourself. From my retrospective on his life, what was documented, I would say that Tupac served his purpose in his lifetime. 25 years in his lifetime. Now, many people can be astute And say his music was too, yeah, brash. I think his music was very positive. He made in graphic detail or displayed in graphic detail in his music and his lyrics what was happening in the community. Very, very important for a lot of people. 
I decided to go ahead and do a topic like this on Tupac because his album, All Eyes on Me, was 25 years ago released in February of 1996. Wow. September coming. It's going to be 25 years since we lost Pac. So I'm just showing my thanks and gratitude to such a great artist. I hope you got something out of this. I hope that we tend to be a lot more careful in our judgment of others and just try to always be great. One of Tupac's wishes was to spark the imagination of young people that can follow and be great. I think he has done that. I thank you all for watching. Stay humble and stay hungry. My name is Gary Harrison. Have a good one. Until Peace out.